It's uh, Sunday morning. It's quite cloudy today, 23rd of April. About eight and a half, nine degrees. The forget-me-nots are now in uh, full display. But once I've finished flowering, I'll get rid of them because it just makes a nice little uh, display along the edge of the brickwork and things in, in here, but they, they take up too much space and they're like seed and they'll spread everywhere, but um, at the minute they're fine, a little bit of blue flower. I've been slowly moving some of the uh, foxgloves, which are just spread everywhere, to thin them out a bit. And see, so I've still left some here, but I've moved like there was a lot in there and everything. And uh, I've been moving them, spreading them down here. Some little ones which will flower not this year but next year, and then some of the slightly bigger ones which will flower this year, like these ones. I've just put them along here and uh, cover the breeze blocks and things, let them grow up. It's going to not cut this grass and it'll strip on the edge of there, and we'll see what wildflowers and things come up along with the foxgloves. This New Zealand plant has uh, got the nice smell now with the little flowers. And the flowers are not prominent, but they, they give off an amazing smell. You can see them there. Fantastic, strong, sweet smell. Amazing. From quite a distance, you can smell it. So that's all in flower. I trimmed this a little bit the other day. It was all sprouting out. And I cut that back as well like overhanging and that coming right into the driveway here it grows quick these just say short these they don't go tall there's another one there This is one I painted the, the brown wood for last year. It's fantastic. It's stayed in really good condition. It's really protected the wood. It's excellent. I did the, around the garage and then all the bits of the wood along there. It's a really, very, very good paint. Uh, water resilient and everything. Sunday morning, we just come down for our three way shows coffee and we just had it by the riverside here. And it's a bit cloudy and a little bit of a breeze today. We're actually just going to have a little look along this side of the river rather than the uh, mill, the, uh, the weir side of the river. This is Otley. Just getting across this road as well. We'll get across the road, yeah. But we're just going to go to this gate. I've locked it. So that's the police station in Otley there. That big complex through there. We're just going to go where that lady in the pram has just come to the gate. We'll have a little walk along that way. See the flowers along the riverbank. Leaves are coming out. Look on the conker trees and everything up there. Managarth Park. It's a history of it. Tranquil Oasis. Deceptive. Because it's um, beneath the soil park and adjoining St. Joseph's Primary School, that's the Catholic Primary School, lies the remains of a medieval manor house which once belonged to the Archbishop of York. And you can... Um, you know, protruding stone foundations. Yeah, okay. They excavated it in 1969. 
Otley is believed to have been given or sold to the archbishops by the late 18th, 8th century. Uh, oh, by the, yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically where the police station is, I've just pointed out, just from there, so just here is where the manor house used to be, the manor house site. And that's where um, St. Joseph's Catholic schools up there and these playing fields up here. See the green, that's the, that's the Catholic primary school there with the green roof just through there. So it's behind the police station here. Oh, yeah, loads of them, yeah. It's just broken, yeah. It didn't blossom and it's just oh, sort of fell over, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we're just by the river here. Some horses coming. There's definitely something happening because I've seen yeah. ambulance incident yeah. response units and now there's horses, so there must be an event on or a run or something happening today. Um, them like yellow things are incident response units there. They've been like driving around looking for somewhere to park. Um, yeah. So this must, this must be the spot of the old ruins here. So we'll see what it says. Oh no, it's just in loving memory of somebody here. Yeah? Reginald Emsey Rowling. First Forester. Otley's First Forester or something else. But it's, it's really yeah. yeah, so just behind these trees here <clears throat> in this hedge is the playing fields for St. Joseph's school there. But the church, which is a Catholic church in Otley, which is just behind it, it isn't called St. Joseph's, is it? Here's the, the archaeological ruins was referred to in those signs so this is just right on the boundary with the school hedge there and these are some of the foundations they must have dug out in 1969 1968 the archaeologists yeah this is the, the primary school st joseph's and then uh, the little view they've got there the chevron and everything the little fields little huts and playing areas here lovely flowers on there. yeah right next to the river down there as well river wolf It's, uh, some of it needs painting though, I think, those buildings over there. The trim, the trim around the flat roof, I must get a lot of leaks of the flat roofs on these. It's completely flat roof, the whole school, but it leaks all the time. So I just took this in a loop away from the river, just like came up and around. Right, we're here, and we're now back in the centre of Otley again on the roads that comes into the, the main square in this way. They were formerly a Freemason's place then. Yeah. Got a lot of old buildings here. Furniture makers. Right. Oh yeah, little planters and that, yeah. There is still a big cattle market in Otley. Um, also car boot sales every Sunday, like down the far end over that way. So this one here is formerly the Royal White Horse Hotel, the 18th century. Come on there, the big portrait. Cyclists and that. The old cattle market, Octi Mechanic Auction Limited. This is still like more of a um, farm sales place, this place. Sell land and farms. Is this the. Um, this is the. That's the field that's for sale. You know that, we're, that, we're, that we've been driving past it? It's like. But it's two. It's a couple of fields. It's quite big. 
That's the one we've been looking at. It's uh, it's just near us. So, yeah. so that's just like where. Uh, in the green belt. So this has like got loads of cyclists in it, and in it, and then it's sitting outside it as well. Really popular. It's full inside. All the people. Uh, I don't know whether they've just come out of mass or something, but um, there's the uh, this is the parish centre for St Joseph's. And I thought, well, it's the schools there, St Joseph's School. And then this is first, I think it's called Our Lady. They're just going into mass, look there. So what's this? Yeah. It's a clinic there. So Our Lady and All Saints is the church right next to St Joseph's Primary School here. <coughs> and this is the parish centre. And I'm not sure what this bit is. That's the parish centre. Could be the priest's house. Look at the size of I think the priest's house is maybe here somewhere. It's like a civic something else there, yeah. Built in 1792 in the grounds of the medieval manor house. So that's what we looked at that ruins of from earlier. And then this is the church. So just going into mass. Mass is on, look. We went last night to the other church. So this mass times here are, what? 6.30 in the evening, 9.30 and 11.15. So maybe 9.30s, what time is it now? Just coming out. So then we've got the, uh, the church opposite. So this is the Catholic church here. So. That's the, um... <laughs> Come back down the river now from up there. Little circular walk. 